What's going on, YouTube? I got some questions for you. For the few who might end up watching this video, I would love for you guys to put your answers in the comments, leave a like, and subscribe. That would be absolutely awesome. Got some questions for you. So, where are you from? Myself, I am from Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada, the house of cold, the coldest city that I have ever visited. And uh, yeah, I've, I've done a lot of traveling over my years. This is a place that has the most extreme temperatures. We get 90 degrees Fahrenheit in the summer slash 35 degrees uh, Celsius in the summer. And then we also get minus 40 in the winter. And I'm not going to give you Celsius or Fahrenheit on that then because it's actually the same number in both of those measurements. So yeah, it's cold here. We get all the seasons. We get fall. We're currently right in the throes of that, changing of the colors, the whole nine yards. But soon enough, it will be bitterly cold outside. And I'll be uh, back to just reading motocross magazines and wishing that I could go out there and ride and being like, ah, oh, I didn't ride enough this last year. What was your first bike? My first bike was a 1999 Suzuki DS80. I absolutely loved that machine. It was like, I could just like everything about it. It, it like, it was basically the, the funny thing about it is a, the DS80 was the RM80 from previous years and that would be kind of a really interesting thing that we're never probably never going to see again because like if you really think about it that was a 20 year old rm that they just because of the evolution of mini bikes sort of relabeled as now a trail bike and it's had a lot, a lot obviously a lot less suspension very small forks uh i think it was i say it was dual shock yeah i think it was dual shock and it was just a very interesting bike in general and like it, it, but it packed a punch. It was very fast. I think it was, I'm sure it was kind of detuned a little bit from what it was as an R as a full ball motocross racer, but uh, it was a really, really fun bike to ride. Essentially it was a trail bike uh, and I rode it as one. I, I wasn't uh, super confident on two wheels back in the day. So honestly, I, I really enjoyed it. it took the wheel, it took the, the lights off of it because uh, those were just going to break for how many times I was putting the bike down, but that's the bike that I learned on. It's a Suzuki DS80 1999, uh, really, really neat bike. And that's actually one of the only bikes throughout my little journey on two wheels that I don't have. I, I don't have that original bike that I have. Um, and uh, oddly enough, I also don't have the 65 that I actually never got to ride. I, I grew out of that bike before uh, I even got to ride it. Uh, I didn't even find out that my dad bought me that bike until maybe four or five years ago. Not even. Uh, that's a story for another time. But yeah, Suzuki DS80, I would love to know what you guys start, started riding in, riding with. And who did you look up to? Who, who, who was your favorite racer as you were getting into the sport? Maybe you just got into the sport and your favorite racer is Eli Tomac or Jet Lawrence. Uh, or maybe you're like me, I'm 35 years old and you grew up just like this guy right here, Ricky Carmichael, over my shoulder. That, that I, I, I lived and breathed that guy uh on the kawasaki when it was like back when he was on this thing right here oh my gosh the, these things first of all the the toys back in the day these things they had like the proper working suspension uh oh yeah that this was the that was the the way to do toys back in the day but yeah it was ricky carmichael it was james stewart obviously those guys were absolutely lights out and uh, honestly, I loved the Terra Firma videos. So if you were a Fox guy, uh, I was right up in your grill. Like even like early Travis Pastrana days when he was uh, on 80s super minis and big bikes, um, his first years, that no fear stuff was so good. Honestly, I, I was not a huge McGrath guy until later on. Like I think I was more of a McGrath guy after he retired than I was um during his career i guess that's because i like ricky so much because i kind of like the, the, they sort of pitted like the media sort of pitted those two guys against each other but uh yeah that's it for me honestly like i it was it was carmichael it was james and yeah i like those guys were awesome i think that was that was my uh that was my my heavy too obviously i always wa loved watching kevin windham ride i liked his vibe not really much of a Chad Reed guy. Again, I think that's because he challenged Ricky so much. Um, and whenever someone like comes and challenges your favorite rider and thinks they can beat them, you're like, no, you can't. But anyway, 
uh, wanted to ask you guys some questions. Wanted to kind of get to the bottom of some things. And this this last question I have for you is kind of a, uh, more of like a pet peeve. Uh, you guys can let me know in the comments uh, what you what your behavior is in this situation is. Do you tuck the jersey? And I don't mean like you have the full tuck back and front. Do you tuck the jersey or do you leave it? just out and messy and kind of flapping in the wind. Are you Jason? Are, are you Jason Anderson? Are, is Jason watching this right now? Those are the things that I'm curious about. Anyway, guys, really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch this video. Like and subscribe if you want more content, something like this. And uh, we'll keep coming at you every day.